Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's having a nice summer evening. I was just telling Jim and Jeff that it's a nice 72 degrees here in Pittsburgh and not a cloud in the sky. So um, tonight we're, we've got the uh, uh, great benefit of having Jeff Gibby with us with Metastock because um, one of the major questions or one of the most often questions that I get is, how do you scan for all these signals and patterns? And so that's what uh, Jeff and I have been working on for quite quite some time, like a year and a half, to get the scans up. So um, anyway, so uh, oh, so before I start, I just want to remind people that this will probably be the last call for our private training session up at Cuca Lake, Strong Echo. Is everybody getting an echo? Oh, uh, how's that? Not here? All right. We sometimes get that. So I just want to remind everybody, uh, we've got one seat left. We had it filled up, and then uh, somebody had an emergency situation. So we have one seat left for our private training session up at Cuca Lake. Uh, you fly in on, or you come in on uh, July 30th, and for two solid, three solid days, you'll go through a butt sore brain frying session, but you'll have a completely different perspective on how to use uh, uh, candlestick charts as for that. So with that, uh, tonight, again, we have the great uh, pleasure of having Jeff Gibby with us uh, and with uh, Metastock, and the reason I like having him on is because they are, uh, their, their software is top of the line and rated that way um, for finding all the signals and patterns. So let's just go through this real quick. We can, using the signals and patterns, we can identify the market trends, whether it's up, whether we're going sideways and having short moves, or in a downtrend, obviously. And that is a pretty good indication of which scans we want to take advantage of, depending on what the market conditions uh, are doing. So right now, in today's market, we can see there's a different criteria going on, or a different uh, perspective, different characteristic going on. As we can see, there's been one, two, three, four days in a row where the market has just gone straight up. Now, we've had uptrends before, but notice the nature of those uptrends. Up day, down day, up day, down day. Uh, very indecisive trading. This is becoming very decisive. Yes, this is re being recorded, Mike. Um, so uh, there's a different characteristic than what we've seen here in the recent past. And what does this characteristic usually indicate? Well, we, as we've seen in the past, when they start taking it up strong without pulling back, it's usually a very strong price move. So, and note where we are as far as this downtrend, especially on the Dow. Today they've gone through it, so that means they're a different uh, characteristic. So knowing that, again, Metastock uh, and I have been working together for again, a couple years, to get all the formulas done up so where you can find the uh, signals, find the different patterns, and you can do it in the universe of your the type of stocks you'd like to trade. Uh, I do scans very quickly because I can uh, scan the whole universe. But some people only want optionable stocks. Some people only like to trade the... Uh, the one dollar to five dollar stocks. Other people like to trade stocks uh, um, in the twenty dollar range. So you can set up your own universe. And the nice thing about the MetaStock scanning software that we've uh, developed is that it identifies the patterns and the signals and tells us when things are going on like a fry pan bottom. This is Amazon. This is Amazon right now. It's been in an uptrend. We've been identifying this fry pan bottom setup for the last few weeks, and then notice what got it started the other day. A 
flutter kicker to the upside. Um, and then we also, uh, can, this is how we find the big trades. There's kind of your left-right combo with a gap up. And you go, can also analyze that it did it right off the 50-day moving average. But just recently, I forget which stock. Oh, this is uh, BX, uh, uh, Blackstone. Notice the, uh, the flutter kicker signal. This is what, the, what we try to identify is where these signals are occurring and what signals are occurring. And out of the 50 or 60 signals, obviously we've narrowed down the signals to the 12 major signals. And the patterns, which there's about six of them, seven of them, we pretty much uh, have put those into a formula where you can identify or it identifies for you when the strong signals are in effect. Netties, for example, had that big, long-legged doji hammer followed by a bullish engulfing, your left-right combo. And what did it do after that? Gapped up. That makes for a very strong, not only a probability of being in the right trade at the right time, but a strong price move potential uh, moving up from that level. So a lot of people say, well, how do we identify the, the patterns? Here's PRTA. We started buying this down here, took our profits, and notice what it did again. Another fry pan bottom set up. And where did it break out? Pretty much today with the doji sandwich. And where did that doji sandwich occur? Right smack dab at the level that we expect to break out of a fry pan bottom. You have patterns for uh, toss. Yes, I think they're, uh, they're out there uh, also somewhere. Uh, the only difference is that Metastack has a lot more information that they can, uh, that you can bring up um, as far as uh, identifying which uh, uh, signals and patterns and putting other formulas in. So here's AMED. We've been recommending AMED here for the last uh, week or so because what is it setting up? Our fry pan bottom. And this is one of the uh, patterns that uh, we've formulated and how, where is this coming from? This is what we call the classic. The classic is your big fry pan bottom. And notice where the breakout occurred, right about where the uh, pattern began. And notice also what it couldn't do this whole time. Couldn't close back below the T-line until we got up here and used our simple rule of uh, the T-line, that the further away you move from the T-line, the higher the probability is going to come back and test it. So. Uh, and I use these uh, these indicators, as you know, because at one time I was the worst investor in the world. And when candlesticks came along, it showed me where I could be trading without having to put my emotions in the trade. Can you search for all patterns in the universe of stocks? Uh, yeah. We, now, we, we've we developed, I'll let uh, Jeff go into the package that we've developed, which are basically the ones that I've quantified as being the high profit trades. And for example, the fry pan bottom. And so it's got very simple parameters. What do we expect from a J hook pattern? A very strong price move. What do we expect coming out of a fry pan bottom? A very strong price move. So the reason we call this one the classic is because we get the results as expected coming out of a fry pan bottom. And then what's our next expect expectation? that this move right here will be the same magnitude as this move right here. So even if we've missed this move, we can pretty much calculate what our upside potential is on the next move. And this is all that the, this uh, software does for everybody. This is not, that's not the word. This, this is basically uh, the benefits that this software does for us. It identifies the patterns. There's our scoop pattern. And notice how this scoop pattern started. Uh, with a uh, kind of a morning or a uh, cradle pattern that started off with a kicker signal. Strong price move. Now what do we have setting up right now? Another J-hook pattern. So uh, it would have been identified here, and it will be identified up here. This allows the investor, as meaning yourself, that you don't have to be hunting all the time if the scans are going to find the patterns for you, all you have to do now is analyze which ones you think are the best 
to get into. Do you consider this wave one, two, three? Uh, yes. These are what a J-hook pattern are, and it doesn't matter what you, what you call them. Uh, and that's why we only use wave one, two, three, because we don't care what the next wave is. We're going to we're trying to identify what's happening right now in these uh, price moves. So if if we can identify what a scoop pattern should do for us, that's long, long, strong slingshot effect to the upside. Anytime we start seeing it set up, and we can identify what the pattern or the signal was that created that breakout. There's our scoop pattern, and there's our little doji gap up, our best friend signal. That's number one on our uh, uh, quantitative list of strong signals. Anytime you see a doji, especially down here in the oversold area, followed by a gap up, you're going to have a very strong price move. Two things going for you. Number one, it, it gives you extremely high probabilities that you're in an uptrend. And number two, very strong probabilities that uptrend is going to be a, a very strong move. All boats rise in a rising tide. What the candlestick signals, the, the, the powerful candlestick signals do for you is help you find those boats that are going to rise a lot faster in that rising tide. And we find the big, big signals, such as the kicker signal. This is L, or MLNX. That's probably going to be on our recommended list tomorrow because what do we expect coming out of a kicker signal? Usually a very strong price move. So uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, how long does it take you to scan for uh, your best trades uh, each night? And the answer is a matter of minutes because once you have the scan set up and you punch them in and refresh them, they're going to they're going to come up with all the trades that you want to look at. Now it always is a visual analysis of which ones have the best upside potential. Yes, uh, candlestick signals and patterns are not for a specific market. Candlestick signals and patterns are the graphic depiction of what's going on in investor sentiment. And so that whether you're buying stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities, tulip bulbs, anything that has fear and greed in it, the, uh, the signals are going to identify. So it works for Forex, uh, anything that you're trading. So with that, uh, I'm going to throw this over to Jeff. Again, uh, and the, again the reason I like uh, Metastock's software for scanning is, number one, Jeff, as well as everybody else at Metastock, are very excellent people to be working with. And two, it's got a fantastic array of benefits in their software scanning uh, packages or uh, software service that it basically puts everything right there in front of you and, and cuts your analysis time down to minutes versus tens, thirties, or hours each night. Um, do you tend to use mostly time frame? These work on any time frame. Um, I used to trade the E-minis on a one-minute, three-minute, ten-minute chart combination. Remember, candlesticks are the accumulative knowledge of everybody buying and selling during a specific time frame. So if you're a short-term trader, a scalper, you can use a one-minute, five-minute, ten-minute combination. Uh, I'm a, uh, I trade commodities during the middle part of the day, and I'm usually working off the ten-minute chart. But I use the daily to tell me what is the overall trend doing. Are we in an uptrend, downtrend, whether it's analyzing the market or analyzing a specific trading entity. For example, right now I'm short lean hogs because they're in a downtrend and they're doing another bearish J-hook pattern. Um, I'm also short crude oil uh, because it's in wave three to the downside. Uh, James, yes, you can, they're out of the 12 major signals, there's six uh, bearish chart or bearish signals, six bullish signals. So they work just as effectively to the downside as they do to the upside. Right now we're short uh, uh, AEM, uh, one of the uh, and a couple of the other gold stocks are are selling off. Um, uh, yes, 
I mean, that, that's the whole point of all this is to uh, be scanning. So I'm going to log off and let Jeff Gibby come on, and he can show you in much more detail how these uh, how the scanning software works. So with that, Jeff, welcome to the Candlestick Forum. I'll log off. Thanks, Steve. I uh, appreciate you having me. Uh, let me go ahead and share my monitor real quick. Um, just, I think what you're asking, and uh, what I was trying to say is, I think you're asking if you can scan for trades. And it, yes, using Metastock, it's very, very easy to do. Uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> in fact, it's, it's extremely easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it and how the plugin works in Metastock and how the commentaries work and how everything puts together. And I think what you're going to see is it's a, it's a very complete package. Um, we created this product with Steve about uh, a few years ago, and it took us a couple years. Actually, it's probably been about three years ago to be, to be because I, I remember we wrapped it up when I was in California, and I've been in Utah for two or three years. Last Jeff, year, Jeff. the uh, Candle Prop... Yes? Jeff, uh, let me... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Your screen is is you've uh, law or you've captured too much. Uh, of your screen. Uh, I, I think I've got the wrong screen. That's what it is. All right. It was doing this to me a second ago too. No, I want you to. You don't have two projectors going at the same time, do you? No, it wants to, um, what it wants to, I'm just going to actually stop the projector. It wants to project my first screen, but I want to actually use it on my second screen. So uh, let me relaunch the projector. I think that'll help. And thank you for letting me know, Steve. <laughs> Monitor 2. Okay, let's see what this looks like in the preview screen. Thanks, for, thanks again for letting me know. Uh, just while this is loading up for you guys, can you guys hear me okay? Uh, blurring and not too clear. Well, let's turn that down. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, your volume may be up a little bit too high. There we go. Let's kind of move it down to there. How's that? Well, Kenneth, I actually happen to be in the shower. Is that a problem? As long as you don't have your video cam on. <laughs> All right, cool. Is this a better level, Steve? Yes, better. How's that for everybody right. else? Cool, cool, cool. All right. Just introduce right, myself. Cool. My name's uh, Jeff. Okay, cool. I'm going to run with it then. Uh, I also turned off the shower, so it should be a little bit better too. Uh, <laughs> this is my name's Jeff Gibby. I, uh, Steve and I have uh, actually Steve is I, I consider Steve a friend, but Steve and I worked several years ago to create a product, and we're I'm very proud of what we accomplished. We use it all of Metastock's really good scanning capabilities to really go in and deliver a product that actually was rated one of the most popular add-ons in stocks and commodities last year. Um, and there's a few things that I've learned. Steve tells a really good joke. I didn't hear any today. I was disappointed. Uh, and two, I really like the technical analysis and the work that he does. I really appreciate the time that he worked with us on because it wasn't a little bit of time. It was quite an extensive thing to kind of take these patterns, the are visual patterns, and make them uh, into something that you can scan for and that you can scan for easily and uh, take something subjective and make or a, a subjective and not really subjective when you're looking at it on a chart but uh, it's a little bit subjective when you go to code it and we were able to come up with a product that's been extremely successful and that's what I want to show you today if you have questions go ahead and ask I'm going to try and keep my eye on the chat as we go uh, and let me go ahead and go through this legal disclaimer today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins it's not a recommendation to buy or sell but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software the information software and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software any trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. Uh, to tell you a little bit about Metastock, we're uh, probably the most established global brand 
uh, for standalone analytics. Now, a lot of people buy Metastocks for scanning, uh, and uh, it's really good for us when we sit down with people that are as smart as Steve is and put together stuff around what he does. It's, uh, it's a fantastic match. So it, here's a little bit of a company background. We're not going to spend a lot of time I'm in PowerPoint. I really kind of want to show you how easy this is to use because uh, if you, uh, it is very very easy. A lot of people get it just because it kind of simplifies their workflow and their process. But I do want to say that Metastock's been rated number one in its price category for 24 years in a row, and uh, we're pretty proud of that. Uh, a lot of uh, we're, uh, we're, we think we've been very very successful in helping people identify trades, figure out what they're doing, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and get into kind of showing you how this works and uh, what it's all about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tab into my Metastock. I've got NVIDIA Corp open, and the reason I've got it open is if I already run this scan, I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, and uh, actually, this was the first chart I happened to open up. I said, I have an NVIDIA video card. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. But you'll see what we're doing initially is we're, we're identifying. This actually looks like a pretty good buy today. Again, not a recommendation to buy, but we were able to find this because I did a scan in Metastock. And you'll notice that as soon as you open up a chart with Steve's template, it's going to have all of your moving averages applied. It's going to have the stochastics. And it's also going to start to identify when you have that left-right bullish combo or this bearish kicker right before this nice big down movement, this bearish kicker, this bearish kicker. And now we've had a bull kicker. Okay, So that's one thing that it's going to do uh, is we can go in and we can go back in time and we can look and see exactly what happened. In addition to that, one of the things that we've done with this is we kind of assume, and we, we make an assumption that you may be new to Steve's methodologies or the way that he trades with the trend, that kind of stuff. And what we want to do is, if you are, we want to be able to help you understand what the patterns are and what they mean. So for example, today we got the bull kicker. Again, I scanned for this pattern, and that's the reason that it came up. If I come in here, I can actually open up, uh, I'm going to open up our, what we call our commentary window. What it's going to do is it's going to very visually, it's going to explain this system to me. So the bullish kicker presents a consistent trading opportunities for long positions. The signal is even more powerful when it forms at a major support level. The larger the dark candle at the bottom is, the more powerful the reversal. Your exit strategy should be swift upon any trading below the previous day's candle body. And then you've got your enhancements. Uh, in addition to the bullish kicker, there's also a fry pan bottom that formed. So it matched a fry pan bottom. So it's actually going to tell you about that as well. You do have with this window, it is right now on the very last day, but if you wanted to see what it would have said back here in this bear kicker, you can just click on it. It's going to pop back to the bearish criteria. So this is all nice. It helps you understand everything. It helps to put everything together. Let me show you how easy it is to actually write a scan for this, uh, or how to not write a scan. The scans are written for you as part of the product, but how easy it is to run a scan for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on our Power Console right here. I actually opened up on another screen. Okay, So I'm going to bring it over here. And what we've got here is we've got um, basically different scans that you can run. So this is the CPS Doji Dynamite. This will find, and if you hover over it, you notice I'm just reading it off of the chart. If you hover over it, it's going to find Doji at the top, Doji best friend, left, right bullish, left, right bearish, series of Doji, series of Doji bearish. You've got the J hooks, you've got the power signals, the price patterns, universe. And anytime you kind of highlight over this, it'll tell you exactly what it's looking for. So if I want to go find a bearish kicker, I can just select this scan. It's going to find the bearish kickers and the bearish flutter kicks and the bullish flutter kicks and whatever. And if I wanted to, I could just run all of them and just kind of get all of the results back and take a look at what I wanted to do. Okay. Down here we have the different instruments that you're that are available for you. And I think one of the things that we offer that will be important to people that are outside of the U.S. is a lot of local markets. We have 192 exchanges. We literally get all of our data from Thomson Reuters. And if you notice here. The scan that I ran earlier was against 4,281, but the amount of issues that actually we cover in Metastock is actually 378,089. So if you're looking for something that you can implement in Singapore, for example, with your Singapore stocks, you'll be able to do it. You just come in here to Equities Asia, and let's say you were looking for the uh, Singapore exchange, you just click on that Singapore here, and it'll run it just the same way that we ran it against the North American.
You can select, of course, multiple markets. What I always do is I always do the option book stocks because I like to trade options myself. Uh, but you do have the ability to choose ETFs or pink sheets or NYC MX. And it's incredibly easy to do. And what you'll also notice is when I opened it up initially, it already had uh, run the scan. So it actually remembered the scan that I ran last time. And it remembered the list that I scanned last time. So if I want to run this scan every day, I just click on scan, I click on start, and it goes through and within about two or three minutes, depending on, of course, how many issues you're loading and your processor speed and your internet speed, it's going to come back with the results that are there for you. Okay. Now, I don't want to run the scan. It took about four minutes, so I've already run the price patterns one. And like I said, it was the one that I ran to find Nike, or I'm sorry, uh, NVIDIA. Okay. But if I wanted to look at a report, here's I can actually kind of come in here I'm going to go ahead and click on report instead of run it again. So I can just show you exactly how it works. Now this particular scan, it scans for Prypan, the bullish and the bearish belt holds, the Duplin tops, the cradles, the slow curves, and the T-line crunch. Okay? And it lists, basically, this is going to have already rejected all the stocks that didn't have a pattern. So if I click on reject, so there's going to be a lot of stocks that just really don't have the trades that we're looking for here today. These are the stocks that we don't have to look at. Okay. In the results column, it's going to kind of list them out in terms of fry pan, bullish bottom, a bearish, a bearish belt hold, etc., etc., etc. Now, if I'm looking for a fry pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for one that has a one. That means true in fry pan bottom. So if I wanted to, there's NVIDIA. And I was just looking at this list as we were getting ready. It, it turned out looking great on the chart, which doesn't surprise me. But it's just I, I, I really kind of wanted to look at the chart. It was the first chart that I pulled out. It happened to look really, really good uh, when I opened it up. So uh, from here, you could either actually just open the chart and look at the expert advisor in the commentary. Uh, you could save the list. If I wanted to save this list, I can save this list as uh, uh, the Bigelow patterns, for example. Uh, and it will allow you to save the list. And then you can go through all of them from that list if you want to. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can use it, but the point is, and the reason a lot of people really like it, is number one, it's going to save you a lot of time. And number, uh, in terms of being able to find opportunities that you're probably not going to look through 4,500 charts every day. If you do, well, good on you. <laughs> I certainly don't look at 4,500 a day. It's going to save you time, and it's going to allow you to find those opportunities that you may be missing already. And uh, it does a really, really good job of that. And the demo's not going to be too long today because it's so simple. We've spent a lot of time making it so that you can just go in and say, I want to run this scan. I want to run it against this list. I want to save the list. Okay, now I want to open it. It's a very, very simple product. And I think that's beneficial because it doesn't take you a long time to get up to speed with it. And yet it is incredibly powerful. So let's take a couple questions. Um, I'm looking at the time. Uh, we. We, <laughs> we have some time. So let's go ahead and see what questions have come in. Uh, YH Ping says, can I add this to my Metastock 12? You can. Uh, well, I think we wrote it for 11. Uh, and let me just, I hate to say the wrong thing. Let, let me go check real quick here for you. So I'm going to just come up to our website and check the compatibility table. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, somebody asked this question a little bit earlier today. And... Um, I think we wrote it for either 11 or 12. I would recommend um, you get, if you're on 12, I'd recommend you grab 14. Uh, they've made so, with the fact that we're not owned by Reuters has kind of freed up all of our developers to make really cool changes in Metastock. And some of the changes that they've made have been extru made everything a lot easier. And I really like the forecaster, which was only added in 13, and it's vastly improved. So my recommendation would be to grab your upgrade. They'll give you a discount on the upgrade anyway. I think 14 is just a fantastic. I, I just love the amount of new technology that's going into the product lately. And uh, you're missing out on that, I fear, in 12. Uh, to answer your question, though, on whether it works, I'm, just, I'm still digging up the answer. I'll be right there with the answer. So give me a second. Let's see. Okay. Okay. 
I'm almost there. Just be patient for a second. I don't want to give you the wrong answer. I want to give you a correct answer. And I do have a table right here on my website that actually lists them all and what versions they support. It works in 13 or higher. So we actually developed it in 13. Again, though, I'd recommend you grab an upgrade. They have some great specials right now on an upgrade. Um, probably uh, tomorrow it's going to be the cheapest price of the year. <laughs> so we have a Black Friday in July that uh, sell going on t tomorrow. So I'd recommend uh, you contact one of our sales guys if you if you need an upgrade and uh, just tell them you need an upgrade and you understand you're going to get the best price of the year as long as you order tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Will a scan performed at 3 p.m. Eastern time reflect that day's price action? My strategy requires for entering from 3 to 4. Daniel, that's a great question, and um, it will. Uh, basically, our, even if you have our uh, VC product, which is a version of the program that updates hourly, um, uh, it's going to reflect information that's uh, about one hour old. So you'd have information for most of the day at that point. Um, if you have real time, you're going to be doing a daily scan. And with real time, Metastock RT, you do have the ability to come in here. We did scan daily charts. You can change that over and make it 60 minutes or 30 minutes. I think I should add that too. But yeah, you will be scanning current data. Whether or not that's right up to 3 o'clock, it's probably going to be up to 2 o'clock. Well, if you run it at 4, it'll probably be up to about 3. So um, there you go. Uh, Brad asks a question, will Metastock run under the Mac OS X? That's a very popular question, and the answer is not under Mac OS X. You do have to have Windows installed, but it does work under Parallels for most people. Uh, do you have a pre-built package to include SB's 12 candlestick patterns coupled with... Let me tell you what's included in there, because I kind of wanted to jump straight out of the PowerPoint, and I skipped a couple of things. I want to give you a list of all of the different patterns that are available in the product. There's about 21 of them. They include fry pan and doji and bullish flutter kicks and j-hooks. So this, this probably answers that question for you. Um, it's a pre-built package and includes um, actually about 21. I, I think I added this up and it was about 21 indicators. It was 20 or 21. Georgios, it's good to see you here. Uh, Mansour asks, is there a trial version of this indicator? Yes. Um, bait, well, sort of. We do everything we sell has a 30-day money-back guarantee on it, so you do have the ability to actually play with it. You do have to buy it up front, but if you don't like it, you can return it, and we'll give you a refund. And that's a good question. I appreciate it. Uh, Georgios asks, "Is Metastock trading available with IB?" Um, you can trade actually whoever you want right now. Um, so uh, uh, we don't do the, the brokerage ed ed uh, execution at this point. What we do is a, a really awesome tool for doing scans. Um, Mike Camgross, I should, probably shouldn't have said your last name, but uh, everybody knows it now. Mike uh, asks, can I run multiple scans? So in other words, can I run this price pat patterns and the universe scan and the J-hook and the Doji Dynamite all at the same time? Absolutely. Uh, if you just check mark the ones that you want to run, you click on Start Exploration, you, uh, you set this to daily, and you click on Start Exploration, it's going to run that for you, all four of them. Tom Tom asks, will Metastock program work in, uh, in day trading the E-minis? Yes. Tom, actually, we get real-time and end-of-day data from Reuters. So uh, while we're talking a lot about end-of-day, um, everything I've showed you today, if you have Metastock RT, can be applied on 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever you want. Uh, James asked a question, how expensive is it? It's cheap. <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly how cheap. And I guess that kind of takes us back into the PowerPoint real quick. It does require Metastock to operate, obviously, because it's a Metastock product. The Candlestick Profit System, and I just think we did a great job with it. There's a lot of screens in here. It includes the four explorations that I showed you, the Expert Advisor, the 20 different patterns in the layout. Um, it's only 400 bucks. So, and what we're doing uh, for this, if you get it within the next uh, week, we're going to give you a discount of price of $2.99. That includes free access to Metastock Pro, and it includes access to Metastock for a 30-day trial. Now, Metastock will cost you after that 30 days. It's about 59 bucks a month, which is also extremely cheap for Metastock RT, or for Metastock BC. And uh, we do offer, so we let you try Metastock uh, for free. 
We also give you the CPS uh, on a one-time uh, purchase at $299, so $300, bucks, very cheap as well. And we give you a money-back guarantee on it. So if you don't like it, you don't think it adds anything to what you're doing already, you can cancel it for a refund. But at least you had the opportunity to try uh, one of the most highest-rated software out there uh, for 30 days. So I'd recommend it's a very – I know you traders – I'm a trader myself. I, I love the no-risk trades. I wish I could find more of them. This is a pretty low-risk offer for you. Uh, if you like it, you keep it, and you're happy. If you don't like it, you cancel, and you're, you're still happy. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and kind of look at some more questions. That $399, Don, is a one-time cost for the lifetime access to the plugin. There are some ongoing costs for Metastock, which does all the scanning. Uh, it's the engine, so to speak, and it starts at about 59 bucks a month. So it's relatively inexpensive. In fact, you can get it cheaper um, if you do a one-time purchase of the program. It costs about $449. brings your costs way down. The reason I do the subscription is I want you to be able to try it because I don't think you're going to really care about price if it pays for itself or if it saves you time. As much, of course, we always care about price, right? But if you have the ability to try it and say, okay, well, this is helping me and I'm making more money because I'm using this, and then uh, you can then decide on what, how you want to buy it, whether you want to purchase it one time or continue to lease it into the future. The big goal that I have is to kind of give you the ability to try it. Um, we pull our customers every year. It's a great product. I wouldn't trade without it. Um, and you should really give it a shot. Uh, Becky says to go to the, get this offer, you go to metastock.com slash candlestick for me. Thank you, Becky. Um, uh, Tom says, I currently use NinjaTrader for my charts and my data feed. Will Metastock work with this format? NinjaTrader is a competitor of ours, and they do a really good job. Um, they really, um, but it, uh, I would recommend you try Metastock because you're going to get like full market scanning. You're going to get the commentary. Um, uh, you're going to get, uh, they're, they're a great software program. Uh, Steve has a good joke about walking a mile in somebody's shoes and then um, before you talk bad about them. They are a great competitor of ours, but they are a competitor. I recommend you try out Metastock and see if you like it. See why it's rated so highly, so long. 24 years in a row, that's a long time. Uh, Raju asks, I have Metastock 14, but no big or low patterns. How to get them? So if you come up here, Raju, um, and thank you for that, that question. If you come up to the website, let me just show you how easy this is in my uh, Internet Explorer. I can't seem to open up a new tab with our Novi open because it's in a whole tab. But if you come to that website, metastock.com, slash candles, and thanks for using Metastock too while I'm thinking about it. Stick. <laughs> It's right here, okay? So what you will do is here's a little bit of a video. It's about this. I, you probably don't need to watch the video. I just kind of went through the video in a little bit of a different format. You're welcome to watch it. It's about 10 minutes of me talking about how easy this is to use, which is what we just did, right? But if you want to, you, you can watch the video. You come down here to the bottom. If you just click on this box right here, it's going to give you the $2.99 price, as a, and it says one-time cost. And then you can choose either the daily charts version of Metastock or the real-time version of Metastock uh, if you need Metastock. If you don't need Metastock, if you have it already, uh, click on Order Now and you go to the order card. So either way, if you need Metastock, it's the same page as if you don't need Metastock. MP says, so when you scan, is this a daily chart or online spot on accurate? When, if you have Metastock, if you have the real-time version, you can do like a 30-minute or a 60-minute. If you're running Metastock RT and you do this as a daily chart, uh, on, you're going to get an hourly chart up to the last. A daily, it's going to scan a daily chart, but it's going to be using today's data. Okay? If you're using Metastock DC, it's going to be using today's data to about an hour ago. So either way, on most exchanges. So it's going to give you a scan of today. Now, if you wanted to find opportunities yesterday or if it's the end of the day, you just wait until the end of the day. Or you can go say, okay, well, what, what was uh, actually triggering yesterday? And just change the day right here. So you can do it either way. In most cases, it's going to actually give you a, a chart. If you scan it in the middle of the day, on a daily basis is going to include what's happened so far today. Of course, you can change that off by just changing the time right here. 
Um, well, these LC asks a really good question. I don't have Metastock. Would it be better to try Metastock RT or Metastock DC, Metastock Pro or end of day? I would say Metastock Pro because you can play with it for 30 days. The big difference is the streaming real-time data. There's also something that we're not going to go into a lot of details, just to, uh, but it also gives you some really fantastic news with that real-time trial. We have a product that's included with, a, with Metastock Pro that Thomson Reuters developed and they spent about a billion dollars on. They sell it to institutional traders and it helps them keep track of the news and the fundamentals and the macroeconomic information. Uh, we sell it, uh, we, have, we don't sell it for nearly the price that they do, but it's actually included in that real-time product. So my recommendation, if you're starting it out and it's free either way, go with the better product. Uh, if you decide, hey, I just don't need all the real-time data, end of day is fine for me, or hourly updates are fine for me, you can always change uh, to the end of day. You're not going to hurt our feelings at all by changing your subscription. So um, I would recommend you start with the pro. I would. Uh, Jace asks, how does this run on a Mac? Well, the majority of our customers actually say uh, that run it on a Mac. It runs really, really well. I've seen it running on a Mac, and it does run really, really well. There's a couple of things about running out on a Mac. You do need to install uh, uh, Windows, of course, and you do need to run a product called either Bootcamp or Parallels. Either one of those work. We recommend Bootcamp to get it started. Um, it just uh, generally we, we, we find better experience with our customers that are using Bootcamp. You want to see the, uh, I did show an actual scan earlier, but uh, basically um, uh, what you would do is you'd select that J-hook pattern. I'd go ahead, you'd click on the start expiration. It takes about four minutes to run. But then what comes back is a, basically your scan report, which I can just show you right here. This is an actual scan. I ran it today. <laughs> just about an hour ago, and it's just showing you right here we've got all the fry pans. So if it has a one right here, you're going to be looking at all the fry pan bottoms. This is the way the scan will come back when you look at it. That's an actual real life ran today at 17.27, so 5.30 my time, um, uh, scan report. And basically, depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for a fry pan, you can just look at these fry pan bottoms. I can save this to a list just by clicking on save list. You'll notice I have a list of variety of big little chart patterns, and that allows you to kind of sit, have that list and go through it very quickly, but that's how you would, um, that's an actual scan. Everything I'm showed, showing you today is actually actual stuff because it is so easy to use. Uh, okay, so let's try this again. I'm sorry if I missed, there it is for Metastock. Uh, Metastock will be about $59 a month, uh, to about $250 depending on how you set it up. Now, again, try it that way. If you decide it works for you, call one of our sales guys and go through the options to bring that cost down because we do have the one-time charges that are available. Mansour asks, can, does this work on the Saudi exchange? I'm glad you asked. If we come in here, right here, here's the CPS hooks, and you'll notice I've selected the U.S. optional stocks list. I'm going to go ahead and unselect that, and um, instead I'm going to go to Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And that's one of the biggest things we've got going for us is the amount of data that we cover. We cover about 95% of the entire global market cap. And right there is the Saudi Stock Exchange. Uh, you just click on that. That's all 172 issues that are issued, and you can just run the scan that way. So good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm sorry, James, that you're having a hard time to follow me. Or Jim. I would want to see all signals, not individual signals. It does list all the signals for that particular scan. What uh, The reason that we broke it into four different scans for J-hooks and power signals and price patterns is there was we wanted to do all 20 of them. There's a lot of scans that we wanted to be able to do. When you open up a chart, all of the signals will be displayed on that particular chart. Uh, Billy, we are recording the uh, webinar. We'll email you a copy tomorrow. And thanks for coming. I'm sorry you missed most of this session, but I appreciate your being here. Can we scan for both price patterns and candlestick reversal patterns in the same search? That's a really good question. Not in the same search, but you can run them at the same time. So, for example, if you wanted to find price patterns and uh, the, the power signals, 
You can just sort of select the two that you want, click on start. It actually runs them one at a time, but it, uh, it's going to show you the reports. For, it'll do it all at the same time. Okay. All right. I think we ran to the end of the questions. Let's go ahead and get back in here. I should close down some windows here. Okay. Um, okay. Let me go back to the offer page. This is a little bit of a bigger uh, presentation than I actually thought it was. Uh, again, it's a one-time cost for the candle profit systems. It gives you the 20 signals that uh, we wrote with Steve. Uh, they're Steve's patterns. We just helped him put them into the program. Uh, that's a $299. Metastock Pro and Metastock. Uh, lots of training to help you get started um, is available. Um, basically, uh, it's sent to you automatically as soon as you sign up for your trial. And then free access to Metastock Pro or Metastock. And again, a 30-day money-back guarantee. If, it like, if you like it, if it helps you, it's worth it. <laughs> so, uh, MK asks a really good question. Can you create your own scans? Yes. We have a formula language that I would, the way I would phrase it, it's not a programming environment. Uh, so, for example, uh, creating a scan that look for stochastics to be doing something. It's all formula-driven, which is, uh, and it's extremely easy to use. I didn't build Steve's product uh, uh, myself. I'm a sales guy, and we had to put a lot of it into DLLs to make it really work well. But uh, it's so easy to use it as a sales guy. I was able to kind of pick it up and actually started coding just because a customer wanted a specific scan back when I was in the inside sales. And I'm like, well, if, if you if you buy if you if I can do that for you, you're going to buy Metastock. He's like, yeah. Uh, but it's very, very easy to write stuff for. Uh, it, probably one of the easier languages out there. It's not like a, you have to write it for job or things like that. So um, it does have, you can write your own alerts, you can write your own scans, you can, you, anything that you want to really. It's very, very easy to do. Um, GG asks, uh, GG asks uh, once you run a scan, is it still there? And the answer is yes. So I actually ran this scan earlier. We were looking at uh, the chart Nike. When I came back in here, it was still there. I just had to right-click on it, go to report, and that's what popped up the report. Now what I, read, I usually do is like I'll, be, I'll actually save the list out because then I can actually cycle through the charts very rapidly. Um, uh, but you, the, the report is there until, until you run it again. Uh, Brett, asks, Brett, you're a man of my heart. Can you scan just for option charts, optionable stocks? Yeah, the answer is yes. In fact, every time I run this scan, uh, because uh, again, I like, I love the optionables. I, I actually really like trading options. But every time I show people a scan, there's actually a list in here. If you go to North America, okay, you could do a scan on the Nasdaq, the New York Stock Exchange, over the counter. We actually have a list of optionable stocks. Um, and so you just click, click on that, it's going to scan all of those optional stocks. Now, we also have some other things that are pretty cool. If you're into, in, uh, like, there's a lot of really cool lists in here. Like if you just wanted to, uh, if, let's say you decided you wanted to buy something in tech, if you click on this U.S. sectors, it's going to have all of the sectors and industry groups here. So you just find the sector you want to scan against. But there's a lot of lists. So if you're looking for something kind of, diff kind of a little bit different, like sectors, or just I, or just I don't care about stuff that isn't optional. Well, show me the optional ones. You'll be able to do it. Good question. Thank you. Brad K says, "What is the education for using Metastock?" Okay, so let me show you kind of what we got for that because we we are giving this to you on a trial and a money back guarantee. We definitely want you to be able to use it, and so and we definitely want you to keep it. Um, we want you to be one of our mini customers. So if you come up here, this is one of the things that's available for you now if you want to take a look at some of the classes. I'm just going to come to metastock.com, and it's running a little bit slow, which sometimes happens when I'm sharing. It just, it's a little bit slower to open up web pages. But if we support tab right here, it's going to take us to metastock.com slash customer. Over here, when it loads up, there's going to be some training videos that we can go. So right here where it says online training, click on Metastock. And these videos are designed to be kind of um, bite-sized. What we wanted to do, our mentality behind them, I don't, I don't think I'm even going to wait for it to load, 
is you know, notice this one's about nine minutes long, and it's just about basic uh, the, the basic video, right? But it's designed to give you just kind of something that you can kind of learn about and then go practice with, and then when you're ready to watch another nine-minute video, there's more videos that are available. And there's um, quite a library of them. The ones that I would recommend if you want to implement um, Steve's stuff very, very well, I'm just going to click this, view this on the YouTube channel, just so I can show you which videos to look at first. Um, probably the Power Console, uh, the Chart tab, and the Power Console, the Explorer tab, number one and number two. Those are what you're going to want to look at, too. Forecasting is really cool. I'm not going to talk about forecasting today because it's a whole hour by itself. So I'd recommend you go through three uh, and four. But really, videos one and two, these 16-minute videos, the 16 minutes of videos, nine minutes here, seven minutes here, are really going to help you implement this product. Uh, TD says, how long does it take to scan? It obviously depends on how many stuff you're scanning. There's a lot of variables that are involved, like how fast is your internet and that kind of stuff. Here at the office, I ran the scan uh, 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 right before we kind of got live, so I could show you some live results. And um, it took about three minutes to go through about 4,500 stocks, all the optional ones and come back with the ones that had results. So if your computer is faster and you've got a faster internet connection, it might be faster. Um, uh, again, if it's a slower internet connection, it might take a little bit more time. But I think that's a pretty good number to give you. To scan all the optionables will be about three or four minutes. Can you show an example of going through the charts? Absolutely. <laughs> sure, you bet. So I did have that list um, that I had saved. Remember when I was showing you how to save the list? There was one that said CPS result. Let me go ahead and open the Power Console right here. Instead of doing a scan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a chart. So I'm just going to click on the chart here. Any of the lists that you save, this isn't the list that I saved today, but any of the lists that you save, this is just a list that we saved on another day, is going to be saved up here. So this was about 500 chart patterns that we found. I don't even remember where we found it, but here's all the list. Now, the first one is AIX. I'm just going to open up that one. I'm going to go to the Bigelow view so that it opens up for me with all the indicators on there and the expert attached. Bigelow. Oh, wait a minute. CPS Bigelow view is what I need. It's start CPS is what you're looking for, chart uh, pattern, chart, candle profit systems. Go ahead and open that up. Well, I accidentally opened up quite a few of them. But once you have the first one open, you just click on this next button. It takes you to the next one in the list and the next one in the list. And, then, and it's literally the process as you kind of go in here. And what I would, if I find one that I really like, let's say this was one I really liked. Again, you can quickly eyeball this. But once you find one that you really like, if you right-click here and go to Add to another custom list, you can add that to kind of maybe a shorter list to look at later. And that's very, very easy to do as well. Uh, I got Metastock last week at $59 a month. Thank you, Mike. I'm, I appreciate that. Can I get the J-hook pattern with that one? Absolutely. Just go back up to the candlestick forum slash A. Click on... Um, and don't click on any of the options that say I need meta stock. Just click on the CPS. Again, uh, you'll have it. It's a 30-day money back guarantee, and you'll be able to give it right away. Oh, TC2 comparison to TC2000 and trade ideas in terms of scanning. TC2000 again is a great product. <laughs> Uh, that's Steve's little joke. And I, if I tried to say it, I would probably slaughter it. So I'm just going to stay away from it. But um, uh, TC2000 is a really, really good product. Uh, I like TC2000. Uh, we have a lot of customers that use TC2000 in addition to Metastock. Um, some things that we do really, really well are the alert systems that are in Metastock uh, or, uh, compared to TC2000 and are really good. The language is a little, uh, I would say, a little trickier to use, but a lot more powerful at the same time. So, uh, and so if you want to custom build your scans and that kind of stuff. And uh, of course it has all of the Bigelow stuff in there. If you're using TC2000, try the trial. See if you like it because it's going to automate Steve's work for you. Thanks for the question. Georgia says, what about software upgrades uh, after the buy? The, um, if you're on the lease uh, version of the Metastock, like if you decide to stay on that, 
uh, it actually includes all the software upgrades. But we release a new upgrade, and they're getting really cooler. It's really, really a lot of fun to have developers, um, and a lot of them, uh, since we left TR. Uh, before, when we were part of TR, all of our developers would be doing stuff for TR. We actually outsourced a lot of the work, so it's good to see. When we do do upgrades, we do them regularly, and they're really cheap. If you buy the program as a one-time cost, you, and you want to stay current on it, they have a pricing that goes down to like like seventy nine bucks, so uh, it's it's fairly cheap to get upgrades. It's it's a really good value. That's one of the things I love about Metastock is the prices are very very affordable. I've literally, in the twenty years I've worked for Metastock, I've seen packages that sell for three thousand dollars that do a fraction of what Metastock do does do. <laughs> and uh, most of the time, I'm, I have better English. No problem, Scott. Thank you. Um, uh, will this show option charting and pricing? If you have RT, you can actually plot an option symbol in there. Um, and if you, you, with either version, you can see what chains are available very easily. Like, if, if I just, there's better ways to do it if you have Pro and Icon, the $1 billion product I was telling you about. But if you just right click here and go to research, you can see all the option quotes just by clicking on it. So it's, uh, it does have option pricing in it. You're welcome, Georgios. Uh, MK says, I like the option that co it covers other markets. Since, since I'm in charge of globally growing the business, I like it too. It's been very, very helpful. And it's also taken me to some pretty cool places over the years. So uh, I, I like that option too. Can you scan for optional stocks outside of the U.S., i.e. on the ASX or on the Europe? Let's look. I don't know that those lists are actually built in. But it'll be easy to see. And if they aren't built in, we probably have the ability to actually pull those. So I'm just looking for a Europe options list. I'm not seeing it here. But we do have a lot of lists that we don't publish that are very easy to import into Metastock. So what I recommend you do is if you want to find a list of Europe options, the first place I would check is with our support desk. Can you export the symbols from the list to Excel? Absolutely. So to do that, let me just go back to the list right here. And you can do the other thing. So if you have all the symbols on a list <laughs> and you want to take in Excel and you want to put them in as a list, you can actually do that too. But to, to take the things out to you, if I look at the report here, um, here's kind of a list with all the symbols and kind of which patterns are which. I can either save the list, which saves it inside of Metastock, or I can save the list to the clipboard and then paste that save into Excel. So you just click on this right here. You open up Excel, paste it in, and it's there. Very easy. Brad asked, do you have a chart templates, or do we build our own? Actually, with this candle profit system, the answer is yes. <laughs> but since it's this or this, it's actually yes to both. With candle profit uh, systems, we have templates that are built in that already put all of the coloring and all of the moving averages and the stochastics and set up the charts to look exactly like Steve's. If you want to build your own, you can as well. That's very, very easy to do. There's quite a few that have come in uh, that are automatically put together for you. And uh, it's pretty easy to save a template to kind of already to have that around as well. So the answer is yes to both of those. Yes, uh, Joey says, I want to call, call you. I have more questions. Uh, give us a call. Uh, the sales guys are closed right now. and uh, But the phone number, I'll just type it here in chat, is 800 882-3040 extension, or, um, and that'll get you straight to our sales guys. Um, is this available through our Australian reseller? Yes, make sure you say, Jeff said hi when you place your order. They'll know who I am, and they'll, they'll appreciate it. And um, depending on which uh, dealer you're talking about in Australia, they're really good guys. So uh, both the, uh, the, the retailers we have in Australia are just awesome. So feel free to contact them, tell them you want to do CPS, and um, tell them that you watched Jeff's class and he said to call you. So they'll like that. They'll appreciate that. <laughs> It'll be doing me a favor, Vivian. Uh, Vivi, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, just kind of go back to this. Looks like we ran through the questions. Timing was perfect. I think I was supposed to go about 20 minutes shorter, but... Um, it's okay. 
Jay, thanks for coming today. I'm glad you uh, were able to make it, and uh, we're going to shut down to right now anyway. Um, Jay said he had to leave. So anyway, give us a call. If you have questions, give us a call. If you want to go ahead and order the product, do it metastock.com slash candlestick forum. Give it a shot. It's my favorite, it's one of my favorite things in the world. I think you'll love it. In any case, <laughs> sometimes I feel like a telemarketer up here, but I'll try the product. <laughs> anyway, um, if, you, if you guys want to, uh, reach out to me if you have specific questions or you want to get a hold of me. Um, there's my email address. Feel free to. And uh, thanks for coming tonight. Uh, the offer ends in one week time, Max. So you have one day, one week. Next uh, Thursday. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, appreciate your time. And I do want to say, um, I, I do want to. I don't think Steve is still here, but we um, we love working with Steve. He's a great guy, and I want to say thanks for allowing us to come in here. All right. I'll talk to you guys next thank time, you. and talk to you later. Yep. Thank oh, Steve you. Is still yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Lose thanks, Steve. Team. <laughs> All, right. All right, everybody. Yeah, if you don't have Metastock, try it. Because uh, one, one big uh, aspect of Metastock is you're going to get a lot more, uh, lot more value for your money than you, than you expect. And it will make your trading a lot, heck of a lot easier. So with that, everybody have a good evening. We'll see you in the chat rooms.